Good morning everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Perch Pro 9. Today we are entering the third and final day so it's time for the teams to regroup and leave Shore Day behind because they are now allowed to fish from their boats once again. Team Headbanger had a great day from the shore so they are entering the final day in a joint lead with two points together with Team Catch With Care. But four teams are standing on one point so I can assure you that this will be a tight race all the way to the very last cast. Perch Pro 9 is brought to you by Big Pike Trailers, premium boat trailers made in Latvia. Westgear, your boat dealer in Sweden. One Boat Network, all together now. And JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. All right, ladies and gentlemen, four new points are up for grabs, plus the four extra points that will be handed out after the tournament. One for the highest combined number over all three days, which is currently held by Team Catch With Care. One point for the biggest perch, which is held by Team Ney Stroft. One for the highest combined top five, which is held by Team Sporting Seaman. And one point for the biggest perch caught on top water, which is held by Marius and Matthias in Team Kingfisher Days and Kamotakel. And they are the first ones out on the water this morning. Hello, good morning guys. Welcome to the final day. We arrived at the spot right now and can't wait to do the first cast. Yeah, it's actually five o'clock in the morning, so we woke up pretty early. But uh, yeah, we've got high hopes, high expectations, yeah. and we'll just enjoy the last day of fishing here in this great area. Okie dokie, let's get it started, dude. Keep on hoozing. Hoozing. As Marius and Matthias makes their first cast, an uninvited team appears on the same spot. Be careful, man. Yeah. They're coming back. Full speed. Ah, they are so annoying. Okay, maybe we have to stop for two minutes and hope they go. Ah! I love seagulls, but not them. I mean, it's a good sign because then the bait fish is here, but we want to have the bait fish for us alone. <laughs> for us alone. And the perches. I think my whistle scared them. Now they are. Really scared. Yes, right now we are fishing a little, well, a little for Swedish uh, people. For us, it's a huge water system in the middle part of Sweden. Um, this is actually a quite big lake which um, has some steep hills coming up in the middle of the lake. It goes up from almost 20 meters to 70 centimeters or something like this. And this is, uh, they are actually on right now. This is where... Uh, Look at this! Yeah, it's crazy. This is where the bait fish comes up. Um, ooh! And they are here, that's perfect. So we just... Uh, I hope it paid out to be up that early. Because the fishes are here. So it should be hopefully just a matter of time until we can show you guys the first topwater fish of the day. We had a couple of attacks already. And uh, yeah, just pumped up. So cool fishing early in the morning. Hopefully the wind slows down a bit, but if not, it's also okay. No problem. We're good to go. Can we change? Do you mind netting that matters? There it comes. Thanks. At least we've got a top water clicker. Yeah, let's give him a quick measurement, but it should be the first clicker on top water. And we put it around like this. And it's a 35. Bra, Henke. Bra, bra, bra. No, I was telling you about I take the middle hook away. I always do that, but now they are so picky and I just want to not risk losing a fish, so I leave it on for some minutes and then I take it off again. I start out, as always, with the wake prop. As you see, it's damaged as hell because they go mad for it. So hopefully we can show you some, some bigger fish on that one. But they are on and they start to chase. 
it's getting brighter and brighter. I don't know if the sun will come up that early, but we will, we will see. And there is the next one off. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's fishing. You just can't keep on using. There's some seagulls again. So scared that we've got a perch on and the seagulls come. <sighs> Size could be a bit bigger. A little bit. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Net? Would be better, but I got him. First perch of the morning on the wake rob. So let's measure him quick. Good job. Okay, it's in the front, it's in the back, and as you see, it's a 39. 39 top water perch in the morning, so go out early. Let's put her back. It seems like their decision to start fishing early pays off, and now the next team is on the water hoping to catch some hungry morning perch. What a morning! The water is rising from the water. Morning and welcome to episode number five. We're up early in the morning, it's now six o'clock and we've done a few casts. We've been searching the fish for a while and found a smaller skull of them. Now keep on watching us and we'll keep on hammering. Keep on hammering, let's go get him. Fish. Approved. 33. I continue with the top water. Top water is our only chance. We don't get a top water fish today. We have zero chance to be at the top of the scoreboard. So I need to continue with the top water. Good morning, guys. It's really early in the morning and it's the final day of Perch Pro season nine. I'm so excited. We are back at the lake where I had that really big perch last year. And I haven't been here since then so i'm super pumped yeah so today we're doing the like small boat fishing again i hope yeah. you like it hope you enjoy it enjoy it should we go out fishing yeah let's escape the midgets <laughs> and the mosquitoes yeah hey let's go let's go first yeah. cast first let's cast. go let's go today we're doing everything in our power to take a bigger top water oh we take a bigger top water fish than uh, Kingfisher, I think. Yeah. Oh, fish on. That's a pike, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a pike, right? Yeah, that was a pike. Since we, we have good faith in the beginning of the day, we both start with top water to try to get that really big fish on top water. I'm so scared for the pike right yeah. now. <laughs> I think he we will we will hook that fish eventually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, Ooh, that, a that's a perch, that's a perch. Yeah. I get the net. Oh, nice, Marcus. Yeah, it's a nice one. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. It is a pike. It's a pike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really <laughs> thought that was a perch. Yeah, it re really looked like a, like a perch strike. Yeah. Hello, guys. Welcome back to episode five. This morning is like totally different. We have between three to four degrees in the weather. So the, 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 it's really dropped the temperature. But if you can see, you know, it's clear sky, it's beautiful, no wind. So we have, I think, good condition. And I think the biting will start a little bit later this time, but we are on spot. Yes, fish will have to feel the, the, the sun and then going to be active. I think the top five, we need to do something <laughs> special. Yeah. And of course, maybe to catch that dream fish, that 51 plus this time, all right? Of course, I'm so excited for this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Okay, guys. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Four teams have started fishing and now team Ejolotes.eu are getting ready to enter the final day. Yesterday, they got their first point in Perch Pro history as they caught a 46 centimeter perch. Questions about the measuring on that fish has reached us, so we want to make it clear that this perch is approved as 46 centimeters. Not more, 
not less. So, we, we just trailed the boat and the Perch Pro 9, last day begins now. Super day, super weather, super weather. It's a cold little bit, but it's regular for this perch in this area. Today we will keep fishing this most important in every competition. You should do great fishing, you must catch big fish, you can, must catch many big fish. And so, this is why we are here. Catch many big perch, nice perch, colored perch, fat perch. So, and, and, and have, let's enjoy catching and perch. And have fun from the fishing, from yeah. so, such a amazing weather and an amazing country like Sweden. Hello guys, welcome back for another episode of Perch Pro 9. We are uh, back at the Numbers Lake. We're keeping the track cord for uh, most fish of the tournament. The waypoint is set. So the goal for today is 187 yeah. approved perch. We're gonna hammer them for you. First cast, roll out. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a clicker. First fish of the day. Steel blue, smelt eating perch. All right. And that is a one. So let's start at 7.50 almost. Same plan as always, right? Yes, we had the best fishing the first day between eight and 10. Yeah. And then also we had quite, it, it did become active again uh, between five and six at the yes. end of the day. So we're gonna, do exactly the same as we did the first day because yes. we had such a good result. And it's the same tactic, one big fish is enough for us yes. today. Yes. One really big fish, 50, 50 plus. If we're able to reach this goal, it would be really nice if not. But we're also gonna go for the top five, trying at least for yes, the top five. Yes, of course. First cast of the day, my friends. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Why? Because I think we should take it at the same time. If you start now, I will lose two minutes of fishing. Can we start? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do the first cast of the day and catch them all. A real gris, as you say in Sweden. A really big one. One bite is enough. Please catch it now, Dustin. Then we don't need to be worried the whole day. I hope so too. I start with the tube. And I will change to craw. And Toby is doing the opposite. He's uh, fishing a Blade Runner with a high vibration tail, so we'll see what works. If something works, it would be nice. First cast and I got one, two, three, four, five mussels. And that's always a good sign here. I don't think the perch are eating the mussels. I think they eat the bait fish that eats the mussels. So always when you find mussels here in the Netherlands, it's probably good for big perch in these big lakes. Okay, <clears throat> we are on our first spot. We are on a quite deep water because the last time we were here, the fish was standing really deep, between nine to 11 meters. And all the big one we caught was on deep water. So first spot is gonna be here. We're gonna search a little bit around the area. Uh, we have some marking on, on our sonar. So we're just gonna search and uh, we're gonna start. And we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna try to maybe get our hard bits to go a little bit more down. So. Uh, just small adapts to get the right fishes. We probably think that it's gonna be do something crazy today to, to, to turn this around, to have a shot on this. So we're going to, to try to upgrade our total uh, top five, also catch a big paper on top five, but also gone, going for that, that beast. That 51 plus we need uh, for sure to, to win this. So it's, it's all in my friend. Yes, yeah. we will manage it. Yeah, we'll manage well, it. We will, we will do our best. Guys, this is going to be my starting setup. I'm going to try with the World Minnow, with the Flash Boost, and I added weight on it. So now I can go a little bit down and try to see uh, if the big ones want this. Because I've done it at home and it works, so let's see. Okay, everybody, let's do the first cast of the day. Of the day, yep. for the episode five. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, big one. Oh, I think it's valid. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I can take the other one. Yeah, not it, not it, not it. Okay. Yes, first piece of the day on a special monte, in a special way of fishing. 
it was great because it's another way of fishing to put uh, some vibration like a hard bait on a 12 meter using Carolina way of fishing. So it's great. First one of the day. So let's go for the first year. Let's go right so 41. Here is my setup. As you can see, I let a little bit distance between the weight and the, and the bait. And when it's falling down, the big advantage, so the, the bait is swimming already. It's fishing very well. And when you stop, the bait are going to be suspending for a few seconds. And then when you release the, the weight, it's going to vibration and to swim during the going down. So it's a great way of fishing. It could be so efficient. Need a hand? Uh, I think I'm good. Keep casting there, there, man. <laughs> oh, net saw that? No, I heard it. Tell me if you need the net. I got one here. Oh. Oh, they are very strong. Yeah. Got it. In the net. Lovely little perch. Let's go to the live well. Oh, that was a nice day. <laughs> Tell me if you need me. Oh, oh, oh you cow. saw the pike? It's still there. Oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? Oh no. <sighs> oh! What's wrong? <laughs> you saw that? That's what oh I my god! That's fishing at its best. Oh my god. Check out Kingfish Horizon for adventures like this. Yeah. Yes, you should. <laughs> oh man. And another lovely perch. You see the scars? You see the pike? Oh man, they go mad here. What a fishing that is. Insane. It's a... 32. 34. 32, 34. Mm -hmm. So next one is a 33. It's 30 and 4. Or maybe the pike is just under the boat. 35. 36. It's yeah. a 38. And now our new top fish on top. Top fish on top water. There we go. It's a 43 actually. It's a 43. That's pretty cool. <laughs> awesome fishing, man. That was great. We had an insane fishing right now. We caught, I don't know, seven fishes in 10 minutes. I really don't know what the top five are now combined, but we calculated it afterwards and let you know. So you have to keep on using. Stay tuned, we are on fire and it seems to be the fishes are also. So let's go. What a crazy morning Team Kingfisher is and Kamo Takil are showing us. This is what we all dream of. Perch going nuts about the lures on the surface and the live well cannot fit one more single perch. We need to find the old ones again. Yep, absolutely. Normally this time of day they're up really high in the water surf hunting and there's nothing up in the top section of the water. I don't get it at all. Uh, bottom feeding. Yeah, if they're even feeding. We need the nets up also. This is clicker. 32. Packed with fish now though. But maybe only small ones. We'll find out in a second. That's an easy way to find out how small they are. Yeah, go with drop fish. Best of the day. But still, it's only. But there are hopefully bigger ones around them. 37. 
They like the turd, the finesse turd from Seaman, Copper Truss, but the biggies, where are they? That's the ones we need. This is not the start we were hoping for. We're no. hoping we will find the fish, go up in the middle of the night to find the fish, but the opposite happened. We find only the children. We're going to start searching. This is no good. This is only small, small, small fish. Big school, but it's only small fish. Yeah, small ones, but at least a fish. But they are tiny. They are really tiny. Yeah, we move around. Yeah. Just try it's no use to fish with these ones. Not even, not, not even. They're like 20 centimeter. This yeah. is only babies. Oh, nice strike. Very nice strike, Toby. Good. Very nice strike. It was perch. I just anchor. It's a new tube I see. Now if it was pike or... Oh, such a nice strike. Oh no, look what happened. And it was 100% perch. You see that, Griffiths? Change the tube pretty quick. Toby, that's a good sign. Yes, they are here. Again. But that felt like a small one. Oh, I had one. Now we also got the strike, so we have had three strikes dust in and not a single perch in the boat. You had a strike? Yes, I had one. Oh, nice. It was quite close to the boat. It's a good sign. They are here, but a little bit picky at the moment. Oh, I had fish. Again, I think it's small perch. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely perch. Look. So it was not perch. It was perch. Yeah. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. Perch. You have a net here. You need the net? Yeah, it's a perch. It's a perch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's a perch. I yeah. See. <laughs> this is so crazy! Uh, this is insane! Uh, oh man! Fantastic! Oh. So cool! <laughs> On a tough bike! Oh my god! Uh, that's close to 40, isn't it? Huh? Could be a 40. Yeah, it should be. 39. It's a 39, yeah. It's in the front, it's in the back. So we reached another spot which we really like. Marius had a 102 pike. Now this 39 perch. So we keep on using and try to do our best to step up. So we did our first um, three spots now. And as the result for us was pretty okay. So we want to do the same again, just go up to the first spot, see if the fish are still active, do the second one, and then you will see us do some twitch baiting and stuff in this area because there are a, kind of a lot of rocks, uh, not rocks, locks in the water. So the fishes are hiding in there and we might be successful later on when the sun hopefully comes out with some small twitch bait action. But first of all, we go for, uh, back to the first spot and yeah. then Try to upgrade <laughs> yes. top water fish. So keep on using. <laughs> Maybe the one something dark. Really rough, rough start today. Mm -hmm. Not that of what we were hoping for. This is nothing like it used to be here. It seems like it's the gangsters again. Yeah, fish. Better a small one. Not the super big, but not super small. 
A little better. Biggest for the day. First 40. Yeah, most likely. Perfect perch. Third. 41. 41. Bye bye, fishy. A little bit, bit better size than, than the others. Let's hope the bigger ones start feeding now. Yeah, fish. This feels a little heavier. A little heavier, at least. You go with the net, Stefan. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'm not sure. It comes too easy now. It comes too easy. Ah, it's better. Best of the day. Good one. Nice. It's a 40. It's a 40. Again. They're really on the bottom. Sucking up the turds, huh? Yeah. 44. 44. 44 is not a bad fish. I changed now after one hour. I used the first hour trying to go for a bigger fish. One top water, play jigs and chatterbaits, but have no bite at all. So now I go try to do some chat fishing. Too much fishing in the finesse all the time, so try to mix it up a little bit. We had good fishing on the shats the other day, but um, We'll see. There are trees down, I just felt one. Oh, that could be clicker. Take it out. No problem. Yep. Yep, clicker. It could be clicker. What do you think? Let's measure. No, just half centimeter short. Shit. This is too short. No, this is too short. Okay, but so more works like like hell. Hello Savamura, my, my lovely Savamura. It will work. When, you, when it's like this, I, I make it opposite side, I make it another cut, and I put it a bit on side out, so I can catch more fish like this. It helps. It can, it can give you more fish. But at the moment, I, I switch to light jig. I need light because we go one meter. So I take another Savamura. Another rod and go ahead because we felt the fish is there. So and shallow going just over, 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 over on the light. Don't go down. Make them angry. Make them angry. Opa, it's quicker. It's quicker. This is the first click of the morning. The sun is already up and we need to keep a tempo. Uh, that lure buses in really works when we need speed and tempo. And that color, natural color, I think is one of the best colors for buses in. We are one hour into the competition right now and uh, we are catching pike. <laughs> Lots of pike. <laughs> Third pike of the day on the Spitfire. Actually, the Spitfire is also a really good bait for pike. We have it in a bigger size. First pike, good first pike. Yeah, fish on. Another one, but not cute. But get the net anyway. Yeah, this is a good perch. Other side, uh, this side, yeah, this side, yeah, this yeah, side, this side. Yep. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I good felt that it was there. a good bite. Nice. Yeah, that's a start. Now we're on. On the lime, Chad. Same as last year. This combination have been deadly. <laughs> oh, that felt so good. I had the bite from it, missed it, and I felt that it was, you know, when you have this really strong tip. Yeah. And then I just dropped it down. Boom. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at this fish. <laughs> super nice fish but it's it's more thick than long <laughs> and today we need them to be long is it even a 40 it will be close to 40 but <sighs> there it is yeah that's uh that's a northern beauty 
It seems like the teams are enjoying being back in their boats. All teams that are out on the water have found approved fish except Team Neistroft. But we know that their waters hold some really big perch, so it might be just a matter of time before we see another 50 plus perch in their boat. It's time to welcome Team Bite Oblique to the final day and they are ready for revenge after a tough day from shore. Hello guys and welcome to Perch Pro episode 5. This is Bite Oblique signing in and we have traveled some distance from our cabin. We are now more in a forest lake than we have been the last couple of days. Yeah. We're out in the wilderness. We are looking for one big today, one big perch. Yeah, it's only big perch today we are looking for. One strike. That's all we need. We had a really rough day yesterday, shore day. Yeah, everything can change. We don't know what the result was yesterday. No, but so. we got nothing to lose. No. We start with the win. big fish, and then yeah. we see what happens. I'm using the tiny, the smallest shad we have. Tiniest. On I'm a five gram head. I'm going for a little bit bigger one today. I'm going for the Pope. What weight do you have on the head? 10. 10 grams. Football head. Now it's game time. So we do the first cast, we have a lot of bait fish, have some drop off here. Yeah, some structure going belt. down. So we hope we will find some perch here. Good luck everybody. Sheet fish get away. Sheet fish. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Look how they moving around. Eat the fish. Fish. How's it feeling? Pike. 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 Okay. Good strike, but you need pike. to have the net for it. Yeah, I fix it myself. Fish yeah, on. but I fish fix that for you. Come here. You have my braid. Wrong species. Yeah, Bad decision, cost. Richard. Bad decision. So we have some followers, but they don't bite. So I'm gonna try a drop shot and see if I can fish a little bit more static on them. Let's see. Yeah, see perches swimming past us. They're circling. You see, coming back. They don't seem to be in feeding mode. It's good that we see them swimming. I mean, it was a much colder weather today. Yeah. But of course, the pressure is better. This is exciting to see the perch like this. That must be big fish. Yeah, I see it. I see a big yeah. one coming after. Check. Not so big, but it's perch. It's a clicker. Yeah. But why? They don't strike. That's not good that they don't strike. Yeah, fish on. Oh, I lost it. I'll try a few casts with the Will Marco. Popper from Lurfans. The Vilmarco V8, it's a really good popper with this titanium fin on the underside. Let's make it twitch really good. Oh, you see? See? That's perch. That was big perch. Yeah, no. Lost it. Yeah, fish on. Better? Yeah. Can be pike also. I don't know what this is. Maybe this bike, but it was staying so long time. No, it's big perch. Big perch. It's a big perch. On the top water. <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we fought so hard for this one. Please let it be 45. What do you think? It's a fatty. It's a 40. Beautiful, beautiful fish. 40 centimeter, really nice. Top water. I think it was like three, four of them hunting in the surface. You know, I just, I took out the popper without seeing anything, just, just taking a chance on it. And like after my first cast, they started hunting in the surface. Yeah, big perch. Come on, let's go. Really heavy. No, Fifth. it's a pike. It's a pike? It's a pike. Have you seen it? Yeah. I've seen it. Oh, too bad. Can you net it for me? Yeah, yeah. No, I net it myself. Yeah. Come on, one more. I fished after. Oh, it missed it. Was a smaller fish coming for it? Tell me if I should move. I think it's okay. I'm afraid to scare them off also. Yeah. They were like four or five meters away from me when I landed before, but they came. I cannot come over, you know, the hunt we saw in the surface. You know, one of the most brutal hunting I've seen for, for big perch. Many times they are just like taking small bites in the surface, but that was half fish over the surface. And 
it was incredible to see. We're trying uh, a little bit hard to, to find the, the big ones that we want to, to, to um, throw on. And, but we have so much bait fish out here, so somewhere around them, probably a little bit outside the schools, they will be there. So we just need to do what we, we can, search, search and find, and then probably we can have some results. So we do the best that we can. Daughter. Yeah. Approved. An approved one. Yeah. Swell day. Just caught maybe approved one. I think it's quite good this one. Yeah, it's approved. It's my I think it, I think it. Yeah my friend. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Great. Oh she oh, threw she... up something. Our second approved perch. It's not a monster, but we take her. It took on a on Ned rig again for me to see in the mouth. Tried a new one, uh, a Japanese made Ned worm from G, G Crack. So beautiful one. This is a nice 37. So put her back, take a new one. Bye bye. Took some time before she took it. She just was, nah, maybe, maybe, but it was a capricciosa and then... <laughs> <laughs> Not the salad kebab. <laughs> Great, so let's continue. Yeah. Five seagulls is more than four eagles. They're packing. <laughs> no, we're interrupting their gang rape. <laughs> There is a lot of fish here. Hunting, surface. Okay, first stop with the fish of today. I'll put it on the measure board. And it's 33. It's not a monster, but we have our top water fish. Okay, another 30 at the top water. I don't think it's longer than 33. Since it's top water fish, I measure it again. And I think it's uh, 33 as well. 33 centimeters on the water strike, strike pro. So much fun, so nice to do. We tried a spot where we had the best fishing the first day, but we can't see that much perch on the sonar and we've only got one bite here. So we're gonna change spot to where we, where Dustin caught the 50 centimeters and see if they are more active there. Fish. No, I lost it was a big patch. No. No. Why? Why? What happened? Just lost it. It was such a nice strike. But at least there seemed to be biting. I don't see any bite marks, but you saw it was on. I mean, because the bite was also like this perch bite. Yeah. But hey, never know. It was a full casting direction that way. Super hard when we lose fish like this, because like one fish could be enough for us to win perch or not. And we know that there are a lot of big fish here. So that could have been that fish, but yeah. Always with fishing, you lose some. So nothing to do about it. What should we do? Concentrate on these three spots or searching on this plateau as well? Searching, you mean further up? Yeah, there's another plateau not far away from here. We can see if there's an fish, fish at home. But I want to go after this spot, I want to go... Back, yeah. Yeah, because sure. we had the most strikes yeah. over there. I mean, this, I think it was a really big fish I had on, because it was so heavy. Yeah. Fish. Perch. Is it good? Yeah, it's a good perch. Very good perch. It's a, it can be a 50. Oh no, it's too heavy. No, it's a perch. Oh, or, or is it a pike? The shakes in the beginning, it's too heavy for a perch. It's too heavy for a perch. The shakes in the beginning was yeah. like, but it's still shaking like a perch. 
but that's yeah it's shaking like it's it's too heavy now let's never approach <laughs> in the beginning it was a yeah and on the crawl again on the crawl again yeah. yeah it's gonna be a little bit small net but yeah yeah you do it nice well done that's a big fish i would say Ooh, not what we need but it's a nice fish how long is it is it on the oh wait wait that's uh, one 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 ten one ten one ten i would prefer to catch it and fly with this jerk but still very nice fish very nice fighter yeah nice not what we need but saying no to a 110 it's no option it was really nice fight really nice fish and our craw is killing it it's so hard when you don't get any bites you don't have the confidence and you don't know if you're doing the right thing am i fishing too fast am i fishing too slow is it the wrong lure uh, is it the wrong spot i don't know if i get a lot of strikes on the lure and then I don't get any more strikes, then I know I'm probably fishing on the wrong spot at the moment or the fish aren't active. Now I have no idea what, what's wrong. And that makes everything much more harder and much more frustrating. We have tried different lures, we have tried uh, different spots, but I think we might have had one or two perch on. Might. We're not sure. Beautiful pike but wrong tournament. Hopefully that pike will bite again when it's time for Team Neistroff to participate in Fly vs Jerk 14. Do you also want to participate in our big tournaments? Now you have the chance. Go to tournaments.canalgratis.se to find out more about our open qualifications. Now we're on a new spot again, yeah. There's... Actually we haven't been on this spot before. We've never been here. Doesn't look like it. So, a little bit deeper than we normally do. We, we cannot find any size fish. It's only dinky toys, so we need to do a little different move. So we got a little deeper. The hair is 11 and a half. Actually, a little bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> if I knew it was being this big, I wouldn't flip it. Look here. Yeah, the nice. Gudo star is right where it's supposed to be, right in the nose. Fishing, throwing shots long, long away from the boat. Just actually, I just changed this color. It's the first a white pearl, kind of white pearl. First, first, I haven't fished this color before. Very nice. Get stri I don't know the name. Wakasaki, Ayu, something. I don't know. It's a <laughs> Gudo star from Geek Crack. Really, really nice. Japanese bait. Easy bait. Oh, she's angry. She's really angry. <laughs> there she is. 46. Right? 46? Yeah. New top fish for the day. 46. Almost blue in colors. Pretty, huh? And angry. And angry. Really angry. The fish are really, really, really picky. It was just like just touched the, the shad very, very light. And I set the hook and I feel doom doom. So I thought it was a smaller fish and it followed pretty nice to the boat. Didn't, didn't have too much. And then I flipped it, say, oh, this is normal size. I flipped it and then I saw, okay, it was bigger than I thought. If I knew it would be the 46, I definitely netted it. But they're really picky, just small. So maybe that's the key. Drag the jig slowly over the bottom. Stefan sounds a bit surprised about the size of that perch. 46 centimeters is the biggest perch so far today, so the point moves on to Team Sporting Seaman. Ooh, ooh, big follower, big follower. Perch? Yeah, perch. Yeah, on. Oh yeah, it is big. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Good. That's a 40 plus. Yeah. That's bigger than the last one. Yeah, it's longer at least. But, Look at this. But that one is healthy too. Uh, Look at that. 
Look Whoa. at that for a perch. <laughs> so beautiful. Yes. Yeah, this one is 45 and a half centimeter. I'm thinking, no, I cannot get this one to 46. 45 centimeter. Okay, so I just caught that really nice 45 centimeter perch on this uh, lime shad collar. And I've had a few fish on this bait now, so it's starting to get a bit worn out and I want to be extra careful since it's a competition. So this hook is uh, specially designed by also Headbanger, four banger ribs to balance out uh, the model of the sh uh, shad. There, it's some other advantage to it as well. You get the hook point really far back and with these uh, rocker heads, the bait sink down really slow and usually the jig stands up like this and the perch can suck it in really easy from the bottom. So you have a really good hit up ratio. Yeah, nice, big. This is good, Marcus. Get the net. This side or the other side? Other side, I think. This is a big perch, I can tell you that. This is the biggest of today. Oh, yes. Oh, it's huge. Oh, yes. Good job, Emanuel. Let's do it. <laughs> and it's off. Woo, that's a awesome. big one. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. That's like 47, I think. Uh, something like that. Oh, and the bite felt so nice. It's so fun to fish for perch. Yeah. I mean, to be very honest, like, I get a more nostalgic, happy feeling with perch fishing than I get with pike fishing. Because this is my childhood, you know? Yeah. This is what I've been doing growing up. Ah, oh, okay. Let's check the length on this beauty. Have a look at that. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. This one also have some pike scars, an old warrior. Yeah, 47 centimeters. Nice 47 centimeter perch. Really beautiful, old, calm fish. I will release this beauty straight away. It's an extremely tight race for the big fish point, and at the moment, the margins are on Team Headbanger's side. 47 centimeters is the biggest perch today, and we are getting closer to the end of this episode. Now we can get do some perch slime in the beard. The 47 is a very good fish, so. Oof. Let's go for it. Yeah, we saw a good fish there. Now we are going to try this Savamura. The pike destroys it, but it still works. Opa! Good? Yeah, definitely good. This is big. Okay, not big, but uh, it is good. I, I and the bite light. was good. Oh, that, oh that's for This is close board. to 40. Savamura delivers again, and look at this. This is a real jerk of the water. Real jerk. Two jerks. <laughs> this jerk is 38. 38. Not too big. Oh, jerk. Bye, jerk. <laughs> well, the, um, the biting frenzy, as you can see to my right here, is, is on. And uh, instead of opening the hatch here we, where we have all the tackle, I just decided to pick up the, you know, the big bucket with all the soft plastics in so you can easier access and get your lure back in the water because the biting is on. The fight begins. Big ones. It's all approved now, Adam. We're on the perfect spot. Here, Lunker City coming in. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh. And the big ones are on the bottom. I think the small ones hunt in the surface. Well, topwater fishing is always excitement. You make the cast and then you see the entire action going on on the what are you doing from the cast until the strike. And that's what's making uh, topwater fishing uh, so fun to do. No, no, no! The young ones, they are like really stupid. Now that's the thing with the young seagulls. You see it, it's, it's a youngster, it's brown. And they are not that smart as the elderly. So they go for the top order instantly, like a hungry perch. 
and it's a clicker on the Strike Pro Water Strike again. Nice fish, above 30. Another point for Team Catch with Care. Adam and Ebert continues to do what they're good at, catching insane amounts of perch. The question is if they will break their own record of 186 perch from the first day. Team Kingfisher Race and Camo Tackle put on a fantastic show this morning, but the biting has now slowed down as we're getting closer to lunch. The fishing kind of slows down a bit now. So what I do is I'll get this tough buck tuned up with a little propeller in the back. It's actually not too heavy and I kind of like it because it's just tangling, you know, it's turning around when the lure is still standing. So that's uh, kind of an add-on that might attract the perches now a bit more. If it comes to topwater fishing, it's always important after, you know, casting quite a bit on a spot that you give the spot a little rest. So that's what we did. We just uh, had three, in our opinion, very good topwater spots. We fished them, um, all the three of them, and then went back to the first one again to give every spot a little rest. So it's good uh, to leave it alone. And now we have two more spots. And then the plan is because the topwater fishing slows down here in this area around noon. So we try again what we tried yesterday from the shore too, just on different spots that we grind the edges and just fish deeper. We saw a lot of bait fish standing on the edges. Maybe we can do a little bit on the top five there or even with a bit of luck get a, a big fish point today. So this new spot, we are fishing on six meters depth there. Good drop off against the weeds, but we are not fishing in the weeds now. We are fishing areas outside it. The normal here is the bait fish is moving along this drop off and, and the perch is following that. So we try to find that one or two fishes here also and hopefully it will be a good size on them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. yeah. I think so anyway. Feels like it. Heavy? No, not so heavy, I think, but can can be pike also. No, it feels like a big perch. Oh, it's big pike. No, looks like perch. Yeah, really looks like perch. Acted like a perch also. Can't see it. This is this is perch. Can't see it. Yeah, big perch. Big perch. Mm. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, it's a high 40. Ah! Yes! Finally! Oh, oh what the heck? <laughs> Don't lose him. No, no. I just wanted to show in his mouth the butter bolt. Oh, I'm feeling oh. sick now. Four to four. Yeah, I thought it was bigger, but this makes me so happy. So happy for this fish. Four to four centimeter of pure love. Really like this. I think this is uh, fly versus jerk time. This is a big one. I'll tell you that. Look on the shutter bait. Super hard strike. Oh, it's fat. It's super fat. Yeah. I said it was healthy. Whoops. Oh, it's not that long, it's just fat. But still, it's a big pike. Very nice for fish, sure. Toby. Thank you. Please, I want a big perch instead of this one. They are fun to fight, but not what we, not what we need right now. Bye bye. <sighs> what to do, Dustin? I don't know, Toby. Everything but perch. I have a bad memory of last year, to be honest. It reminds me, like, catching everything, but not a single perch. I hope this will not happen this time. This time. We'll see. Keep on fishing, concentrate, and I hope then we will catch this one big perch.
Another pike for Dustin and Tobias, and if it wasn't for Perch Pro, this would have been a really good day out on the lake. But more often than not, the pike also want a taste of that perch candy. Nice with an upgrade for us. Finally, it's been tough for a while now, so it feels good with a, another nice fish. Even though this is no giant, it keeps the confidence up. Get it to 42, not, not, not more. 42 centimeter perch. It's good. Beautiful fish, 42 centimeters. Team Headbanger are slowly getting rid of the 30s from their top five, and right now it's looking very good for the Swedish anglers. So guys, we are taking some lunch now and uh, suppose we're coming back in next episode, right? Last one. Yeah, last episode coming up after this really good sausage. Thanks for following us guys. Next episode I will pick up a big one. See you then. Bye. We did it same as last year. No perch for us in episode 5. Hopefully we can change that because we need one big fish. Um, I think if we catch a really big fish, like 50 plus, we might have the chance to win this. If not, of course we don't have the chance, but that's what we are doing. So thanks for your support and uh, see you in the next episode. I think we are, we are near to a mental breakdown. Oh yeah, close to. Well, we had a good day on the water, that's for sure. A really good day. Stay tuned until next week. We are so excited for the last episode. Hopefully yeah. you are the same. We give our best to step up and keep on using. Show you the best, keep on using. Let's do it. Uh, we had a decent morning. Not good, not bad. 46 on top. We have four, four over 40, I think. Yeah. Not the result that we were hoping for, but there's still a lot of time to catch up in uh, episode number six, so hang in there! Oh. See us catch the tank in episode number six. The 50 plus. Okay guys, so we had an uh, amazing morning. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> like really amazing. Uh, 93 fish, in over 30. Four hours of time. We don't know anything, but I really hope that the other teams, number-wise, are lagging way behind so we can yeah. sail this one to harbor and uh, maybe win it again for the second time Don't let's jinx uh, it. Don't cross jinx. our fingers yeah. thumbs up for us thanks for the support for team catch with care and uh, see you next week at the final ciao so we have just made a high risk move we did a long drive up to a spot where we caught uh, some really big fish during our test fishing but it's a very small spot and sometimes the fish are just not here so it turns out good or bad you will see in the next episode next and Ooh, final fish episode. on uh. episode five is over and for the second day in a row we have team headbanger in the lead with 212 centimeters on the top five with the biggest fish of 47 centimeters Marius and Matthias had some really good topwater fishing earlier this morning and their 43 cm perch is right now enough for the topwater point. Once again Adam and Ebert are keeping their clicker hot so 93 approved perch is by far the best number. The total scoreboard over all three days with the four extra points included speaks for itself. Team Headbanger and Team Catch with Care are in the lead with four points each but the chasing teams are breathing down their necks. This season of Perch Pro can end in so many different ways and you do not want to miss the outcome in the next and final episode. My name is Mille Pettersson, see you all next week for the final episode of Perch Pro 9.